Okay, uh, can you tell us about Benjamin Krem, uh, Maitreya, and the Ascended Masters? Okay, well, Benjamin Krem was born in 1922, and uh, in 1959 he was contacted by one of the uh, Masters, uh, Ascended Masters. They don't really get real specific who actually contacted them first, but uh, what they did is, is asked him if he wanted to participate in this coming, uh, where he would actually talk about and be kind of like the John the Baptist for the coming uh, Maitreya, as they called him. And he accepted, and in 1975, he started Share International, which is kind of like the mouthpiece for uh, who they call Lord Maitreya. And in 1977, Maitreya actually made, according to them, his physical appearance, where he, he came from Himalaya, the Himalayas, and, Supposedly, it, he occupied a body, came in uh, on a plane from the Himalayas, and they even used that whole thing about him coming from the Himalayas in 1977 to say that this fulfills the Bible scriptures where they said he, he will come in the clouds, which is such a joke. But um, So Matre has really been, uh, or Benjamin Krim has really been like, again, the um, kind of like the, uh, like the false version of John the Baptist for Maitreya ever since really. He's went around, lectured, um, he, he lectures at, at different and various occult groups. He lectures with at Masonic halls and these types of things, places where he feels comfortable at. And um, he's been trying to herald in uh, Maitreya for a long time. They've made many predictions where you know, they said, okay, he's most likely going to appear within this time frame and most of the time they've just got everything wrong. So they'll say, well, he could appear any moment, but we don't really know when. The New Age religion, folks, is going to have a worldwide leader, a charismatic political and religious leader that they call Lord Maitreya. At least so far, that's who they call him, or that's what they call him. This individual, as far as I know, has not made his public appearance yet, but the New Agers claim that he is on the earth at the present time. They claim that he came to live with the Asian community in East London, England, in July 1977 by descending from his ancient retreat in the Himalaya Mountains along the border of India and Tibet. They further believe that his imminent emergence into full public view is assured. They also claim that this individual is the one that the Christians call Christ, the Jews call the Messiah, the Buddhists call the Fifth Buddha, the Hindus call Krishna, and the Muslims called the Imam Mahdi. In other words, all of the major religions of the world are awaiting the arrival of this one individual. And they say that he is on the earth now, patiently waiting for the appointed time to reveal his existence to the peoples of the world. They say that he will apparently assume the leadership of all of these religions, and when he does, he will create a one world religion. The New Agers have written that in the esoteric tradition previously defined as being intended for or understood by only a choose, chosen few as an inner group of disciples or initiates, in other words, the esoteric means hidden. They claim that the word Christ is not the name of an individual, but the name of an office or function within the spiritual hierarchy of masters. They claim that the Masters are a group of perfected men who have guided human evolution from behind the scenes for centuries, and they believe that this Lord Maitreya is that Christ. Now, Manly P. Hall has written of this individual by identifying him as, quote, the way, the truth, and the life, which coming to every life redeems all who accept it, unquote. Since Jiddu Krishnamurti, featured in Zeitgeist Addendum, failed as the world teacher responsible for ushering in the age of Aquarius one world system, theosophists, freemasons, and occultists have been waiting for their world teacher since then. Well on January 9th, 1959, a student of Alice Bailey and Blavatsky, who was already familiar with the doctrine of the ascended masters, Benjamin Krem, would come into contact with powerful forces who would appoint him to introduce Maitreya, the world teacher, to humanity. Krem's first experience is as follows. On January 3, 1959, Krem became possessed by an energy and a message from an outside force said to him, go to Blackfair's Bridge, south side, Blackheath side, 
on January 9th, 9.30 p.m. So on January 9th, 1959, Benjamin Krim followed these instructions and crossed Blackfairs Bridge in London, walking to the south side. There was no one about. It was deserted. There was a car waiting at the far end of the bridge. He walked beside the car and looked inside of it. There were some people in it who he did not know, but one of them was a man who told him he had been receiving messages from the Ascended Masters. From there, Krem started receiving messages again from this force who he now believed were these Ascended Masters that Theosophy invented. This entity told Krem to pull out his tape recorder. It began giving Krem long dictations which he repeated into the tape recorder. The entity said, Now our master Maitreya himself has something important to tell you. Krem then claimed to be overshadowed by Maitreya, this leader of the Ascended Masters. In a sense, he was possessed by Maitreya. Krem claims that the experience was that of total identification with everything and everybody in the world, a kind of universal experience such as he had never felt. He was filled with a foreign tremendous energy. Krem claimed to have seen a vision of himself in the future, as well as Maitreya, the world teacher, who ushers in the age of Aquarius, one world system. Later he was instructed that he would help introduce Maitreya to the world. Since then, Krem started an organization called Share International. They have a website as well. It is aimed at promoting Maitreya and the teachings of Theosophy and the New Age. Krem admitted that he was influenced by Helena Blavatsky and Alice Bailey, quote, To many today, this awareness includes the recognition of higher states of consciousness attained by those who make up the emerging spiritual kingdom, the masters and initiates of the world. Their existence was first revealed in modern time by H.P. Blavatsky, co-founder of the Theosophical Society, as long ago as 1875. A more detailed communication about the Masters and their work was given by Alice A. Bailey between 1919 and 1949. In her book The Externalization of the Hierarchy, she revealed the existence of a planned return to physical plane work and activity by this group of enlightened men, which return, I submit, has already begun. I think that what Blavatsky wrote down, even by her own admission, was not written by uh, a ascended master and I don't think that ascended masters exist she was being deceived regardless of what we think we have to we have to at least believe her and the others involved in the high levels of the theosophic movement that what they got the core levels their secret doctrine was given to them by off-world entities the the research becomes who are these off-world entities and this is the other part of that research is what those entities said true or not I understand that it's very poetic, it's very easy and seductive to uh, believe because when you read some of her stuff or some of the other stuff that's written directly from demonic entities, it's extremely seductive. We must understand that these beings are thousands of years older than us and they're very smart. We're no match for them. The, most, the smartest of us are no match for the intellect of them, but their des desire is to deceive us. So we are outmatched in this regard. So that's why it's seductive when we read it. Um, the most current thing that they're doing right now has been since last December, this supposed uh, star sign, which is really, again, they just try to knock off from the Bible as much as they possibly can. This is like a knockoff of the star of uh, Bethlehem in the Bible. And in that, they're saying that there's going to be these, what they call star-like luminaries in the sky. Four of them, that are in different quadrants of the earth. Um, they're five times the size of a football field, according to them. And people are seeing these things, and they've got a whole, up on shareinternational.org, they've got a whole um, section devoted to this, where people are sending in pictures, there's stars, and, and what they are, spaceships. And that's what they're, that's what they're uh, admitting to at this point. And more and more people are seeing them, but evidently this is going to be the thing that really, really heralds in Maitreya up until they have the day of declaration when he makes his public emergence. And this is supposed to be on the uh, major media? <laughs> yes, yes. When he makes his uh, big debut, uh, what they've said is they've already secured an interview with a major uh, US TV network and then one in Japan I believe as well. Uh, so 
during this time he's going to uh, the day of declaration supposedly he's going to basically telepathically communicate with masses and masses of people they supposedly will hear them in their own language they'll be able to comprehend him supposedly they'll feel this infinite love uh, and um, there will be many also supposed miraculous healings taking place around the world at the same time and most likely this day of declaration will come on the heels of some or multiple cataclysmic events most likely the first thing being an economic meltdown which is what he's predicted by, way back from the 90s right. 